This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2020. Primary bone sarcomas often involve the physis. Removal of these sarcomas in children can cause the bone to stop growing, resulting in limb length discrepancies as the child ages. One solution to this problem is the use of extendable endoprostheses, which can be extended as the child grows. However, the long-term success of these extendable endoprostheses is poorly understood and site-specific data are not well collated for large cohorts. In this study, researchers from the United Kingdom examined a group of 124 skeletally immature children who had undergone replacement of the proximal part of the femur, distal part of the femur, proximal part of the tibia, or proximal part of the humerus more than 10 years previously. The extendable endoprostheses were successful in that they resulted in low rates of amputation and very small limb length discrepancies in the long term. However, the devices were also associated with high rates of failure and complications, with most patients requiring multiple additional surgeries. In particular, Implants at the proximal part of the femur resulted in the highest rates of soft tissue failure, and those at the distal femur had the highest rates of aseptic loosening and structural failure. This study highlights both the benefits and risks of using extendable endoprostheses, provides benchmark site-specific data, and indicates potential areas of improvement for future development.